You're so lazy. Hi, do you ever get called lazy? Well, new research from the Journal of Health and Psychology whew, <laughs> seems to support the theory that smart people are lazier than people who show a high level of activities. Hmm. <laughs> Let's discuss this on Tutorials today. <laughs> Okay, so let me read to you a few lines of the article. The findings show that people with a high IQ get bored less easily, leading them to spend more time thinking rather than doing, while active people tend to be less lazy because they need to stimulate their minds with physical activities, either because they want to do less thinking or because they get bored fast. Hmm. Listen, my theory is that it's not about being lazy <laughs> or being smart or being anything of that nature. I think it's about finding something that makes you happy and that makes you want to, you know, get out of your way and make the extra effort to wake up every morning. What we can conclude here is that being lazy is merely a disconnect between our ability to think, plan, imagine, create, and our ability to transform this plan and creation into tangible actions or tangible results. And I think that that's the issue of our generation. You know, nowadays, everything is digital. Nothing really exists anymore. Even money, anything that we are uh, seeing or listening is now in a digital form. So. I believe that it is harder now to connect with reality. And in some ways, um, the bar is set really high because now people that have no much substance manage to do really, really well in life. You don't need to be smart anymore. You don't need to be um, a genius or anything. You just need to be good looking in some cases. And that's it. So I think that young people, as well as ourselves sometimes, we are in a, in a state where we have those dreams, we have those projects and those goals, but we think that we're not good enough. And sometimes when you call someone lazy, you don't realize that that's what it is. It's a lack of self-confidence for the most part. We're all able to create and plan and project our dreams and our goals. Uh, but what's difficult is to take this a little bubble to burst it and to make it a reality, to get to work, to wake up and, and do things. Because we were told that you're not allowed to dream, especially dream big. You know, every time that you're trying to do something, you're gonna hear, yes, but you know, if it fails, then what do you do? Or this is not gonna work, it's too crowded, too much competition. You will never have, you will rarely have, sorry, encouragement from the start people would tend to put you down straight away. I don't think that people are lazy. I think that people are bored. They didn't find that, that a fire inside. You know when you're really passionate by something, and I'm not talking about money or fame or wealth or anything like that. It can be anything. You, you will have that fire. You won't sleep at night. The only thing you think about is what you're passionate about. And you will notice too, by the way, that the less pressure you have to succeed, the easier you get things done. So if, if your passion is like baking or whatever, and there's no pressure, you're not a, a, a professional baker, you're not uh, baking for a party or whatever, you tend to succeed better and you tend to get it done with more joy and happiness. You're less tired and, and you just think clearer. And this is what society did to us today they put press, way too much pressure. If you have something that, that makes you happy, then go and do it. For now, don't think about money or making a business or whatever. Just start, do something first. Once you engage into something, it is way harder to stop. And in some ways, you force yourself not to be lazy anymore, not to be unaware that you can get things done despite what other people say, despite what society say. And this is something that I experienced a lot, uh, <laughs> is that I am a big dreamer. I dream a lot. I have big dreams. And I've always been told that I shouldn't because, hey, you don't live in the right country. You're not pretty enough. You're not smart enough. You don't have the means. But I believe that if you want to do something, 
get started even if it's small and imperfect. It doesn't matter. You know, right now I want to do this channel. And so I got started. I filmed myself with my, my iPad. <laughs> I don't have a mic. I don't have a camera. But I want to get started. And it doesn't matter. I will have the means to buy myself a camera and, and a mic one day, probably. But right now I just want to speak because I think that I have a voice. And I think that this is something that people can't take away from you. So get up and take action today, but focus on the end results. Focus on the happiness. Focus on, on the joy. Focus on that weight that will be lifted off your shoulders once you succeed. It is not about the tasks that you have to do, you know, that, that looks very difficult at times. It's about the happiness, the true happiness and relief that will come out of all this work that you're going to do. Sometimes we just can't find what make us happy, what make us passionate, what make us want to wake up every morning. You know, I know lots of people who don't like their job, they don't like their job, but when you ask them, what is it you want to do, they can't give you an answer. And I think that if you take the time to reflect, and take that time, call it a lazy moment or whatever you want, but take that time to reflect on what it is that you want to do, because there is something there. Write it down. You know, because when it's on paper, you can see that other people did it before you, that it is doable, but that you probably never really researched it before. So take that time that you give yourself to be lazy, to actually being productive and work towards something that you're passionate about. No matter what your dream is, there is a research phase. You need to, to set the groundwork, you know, for, for your plan, for your vision. There are things to do. There is a workflow to have, you know, a list of to-dos. And I would say, don't focus on the to-dos, focus on the feelings, but understand that to get there is one step at a time. You know, if you take the time where you do nothing uh, and, you, and you realize that you're wasting that time, that it is a time that you could have used towards something else, then you realize that the cost of being lazy is way too high. You're wasting your life away. It's it, People are, are lazy, but it's selective. They're not lazy for everything. I think that if you find something that keeps you going, that makes you happy, and often they're not things that a society recognizes as being amazing. They're simple things, you know. You might love gardening or painting or whatever. You might not make millions out of it. But if it gets you out of bed, it's productive. If it teaches you new things every day, it's productive. And it makes you grow. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Don't worry about social pressure. You know, sometimes people don't understand your passion and they say, that's nothing, that's worth nothing. It is worth something if it makes you grow as an individual. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you uh, work ethic. When you, when you uh, do things that you like, you notice that you will um, be good at them. You start to be good at doing those things because it comes naturally to you. And I think that these are things you need to learn. You can't learn this for something you don't like to do. So th those moments where you do have time, I would say make it productive, and then have moment of rest where you just do nothing. You watch TV, you watch a good movie, um, you just sleep because these moments are very important. And you need those moments to reflect, to think, to plan, to have new ideas. So. Try to balance out both activities and moment of laziness, as they call them. And on another note, I would say that yourself, try to be nicer with other people. Try to avoid calling people lazy or use less or whatever, because it's, that's why they stay like that. Because it is like a seed that you plant, you know. By saying someone you're lazy, it's just saying them you're incapable of doing anything. Well, it's not true. They might just have something that they in mind that they want to do, but nobody's here to listen or no one understand and no one value that thing as being uh, of value. So anyway, this was my rant a little bit today. <laughs> um, and this was to also encourage you to to dig deeper and to try to find what your true nature what your true nature really is. Sorry, I can't talk today. Anyway, so I wish you a very, very good day, productive day. Lazy day if you have one. Day nice sometimes. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.